Hello guys. My name is Mrs. Liberty. I'm going to teach you on how to use your correct draw to design flower leaves and pots. Watch. Okay. This is your correct draw. Right click on it and you click on what? Open. Can't open. After that you click on what? You click on new. This is your new. This is your new. After that, you click on circle. We are going to be using circle to do most of what we are doing here. You click on your circle. Here is it. Right click. You click on circle. And you are going to draw inside your page of your correct draw. This is it. This is the circle. So we are going to make this circle to be bold by clicking on outline tool. This is your outline tool. You can see it's outline tool. Right click. You are going to click on the fourth line to make the circle to be what? Bold. And you see it can make your circle to be bold. After that, we are going to click on your free hand tool. This is your free hand tool. We are going to click on this other pen here. We are going to use it to do what? To draw a straight line across the circle. This is it. You can see the straight line. This is how you are going to draw it. After that, you are going to be drawing line inside the circle like this. Like the one I'm drawing now. You can see it. You are drawing it inside the word circle. Like this. Like this. Like that. Like this. Yes, you draw the line inside the circle. As you can see what you've done. After that, you are going to click on your word. Fix two. Now we are going to make all the line inside the circle to the word bold by drawing a constraint line. You can see the way I'm drawing my constraint line across the word circle. I take it again. This is how you draw your constraint line across the word circle. After that, you go to outline two. This is it. You click on the fourth line to make all the lines that you draw on the circle to the world to be bold. Can you see? After that now, we are still going to draw a constraint line again to group the line and the circle together that we draw. By going to arrange menu, this is the arrange menu on your laptop. You click and you click on what? Group. It means you have what? To group it together. So that you'll be able to move it from one place to another. You see you are moving it from one place to another. After that, you are going to resize it. You are going to resize what you have drawn. You carry it and keep it here. So now we are going to draw another line by clicking on rectangle. We click on rectangle. We are going to draw a straight line with our rectangle that we draw. See is it? We go back to outline two to make the line that we drawn to the word straight. This is the word. To make it to be bold. You click on what? Outline two. You click on the first line to make the line what? Bold. Can you see? If it's too bold, you click on this place. You minimize it, but want it to be bold. Yes. We bold the line. We carry it and we put it here. So now, we are going to apply color on this leaves that we have drawn. You see this line, we are going to apply color green. This is your color. You choose green or any color of your choice that you want. You can choose purple. Purple and you click on add line. Let me click on add line. What will happen? You have applied color on the word line. You click on the leaf also. You click on what? Add line. If you click on add line, what happens is the leaf have changed to what? To a kind of blue, light blue. So we are going to adjust the leaf. We've adjusted it. Now, we are going to copy and paste. You say copy. This is copy. And you like click here, you say paste. Now, you are going to drag the paste one out of the original one you draw. Can you see? We now say paste again. You click on what? Paste. We have to click paste. Now we have multiple of the leaves. Can you see? 
Now we have multiple of the leaves that we have drawn. Now you are going to right click on this one, double click. We are going to rotate this like this. You hold this node this and rotate it. Now we we'll rotate this leaf. So this one that we've drawn now, we are going to carry it. And you see I'm carrying it. Now I apply it here. After you apply it, we are going to reduce it because it's the tip of the leaf. So we are going to say copy. You copy. We are going to say what? Paste. So I'm going to drag the paste one out of this one that I've got, just like this. You see what I've done? So we are still, we are still going to paste paste again, because we need more of it. And you drag it out. You drag it out, and you hold this paste, you expand it. We are going to put the one at the tip. We are going to rotate it flat to make a nice shape. We are going to apply it very well here. Can you see? I rotate it very well, it's small well. Rotate. Yes. Can you see it's not making a beautiful design? So we are going to rotate this one also. This other leaf, we are going to rotate it. We are going to say copy. And we are going to say paste. Now we are going to take the one with paste here out. I will carry it. I will rotate it very well so that it's not touching each other. I will carry it. I will paste it here. We carry this one too. We rotate it very well. You rotate it very well, you say paste. You set it on the what? You set it on the stitch of the flower you have drawn. You are going to rotate this one as well. Very well. You are going to say copy. And you say what? Trace. You say what? You click on what? Mind you, sir, you're not going to delete it. You say copy. And you click outside here, you say paste. You paste this other one too. You drag it out of this other one too. Rotate it very well so it's not touching each other. Rotate this one also by right double clicking on it. You see, we adjust it more so it's not touching each other. Then now we can delete this other one because we have enough of the leaves that we want. Say delete. Now, this is the leaf, flower leaf that we've drawn. Now I just stick very well to come down. After that, we are going to draw a constraint line to group the leaf and the stick together so that to be able to carry it. This is how you draw your constraint line. You start from where you click and you drag it out to cover the leaf very well to come down. Then you go to arrange menu. Arrange. This is arrange. And you say what? You click on what? Group. So that to be able to move the flower leaf from one place to another and you see so you need to move it from one place to another after that you are going to resize it so we have enough space for it this is how we are doing it after that now we are going to draw the pot by clicking on the circle we are going to draw the pot here so we are going to make the circle to be bold by clicking on this line this outline to say click on the first line to make the circle to be bold after that we are going to click on crop two Top tools and you click on knife. We are going to divide the circle into two. We have divided the circle into two. With your knife. You click on fit tree to remove this one or that one. Or this one. We are going to click and say delete. Make them active by click delete. It will go. Press on delete. Also, this one you make it active, and you click on what delete. This one so you click and you press click on what delete on your keyboard. So it's remaining all of these other circles that is remaining. After that, now you are going to click on circle, another circle again. You are going to draw. You carry it and put it at the mouth of the other circle that you have drawn. You resize it very well. And you see what I'm doing. After that, now you are going to click on outline to, to make the circle, second circle to the world active. After that now, we are going to apply color on the word, on this circle. It's active now. So now we are going to choose color of our choice. Let's click on what? Brown. Color brown. Can you see? You click. What happened to the circle? You see? It has done what? The word color. So we cannot move the circle with this other one together. So what we are going to do, we are going to draw a constraint line on the two circles. So that to be able to move it. After you draw a constraint line, you now go to arrange menu. This is your arrange menu, and you say group. 
after you be able to move the circle from one place to another. Can you see? It? Now after that now, let's adjust our leaves by taking it off. Now we are going to remove the circle under the wood, under the flower leaf we have drawn. Can you see what I mean? This is how you move your pot under the circle leaf. After you put it under the flower leaf, what will happen? The leaf will be at the back of the pot. So how are we going to bring the leaf inside the pot? You go to the arrange menu. Watch. You click on arrange. You click on order. This is your order. And you click, you say, you click on send back of the word stage. Send. Say, you click on to back of stage. You have click. What happens? The leaf will come inside the word first. You can see that the leaf has come inside the pot. So now, we are going to click outside and click on the leaf. You drag it inside here. What happens? It has entered. After that now, for you to carry the sleeve and the pot together, you are going to screen draw on that constraint line across the leaf and the flower pot. You go to arrange menu, you click group so that you can move the leaf and the pot together from one place to another. You can see what I'm doing. You are able to move it. After that now, we are going to, you can see, the nice one. This is how to draw what? Your flower leaves and pots on Corel draw. Now, if you want to multiply it and change the color of the pot, you can also click on it. Click on it, make it as you say, copy. After copy, you now click to say, paste. Now, we are going to drag the paste one from the original one. See what I'm doing now? You see, we drag it fast to become two. See, we have two of the words leave. So now we are going to we are going to ungroup this one. So I'll be able to change the flower pot by applying different color. Now you see I've on as to ungroup it, you are going to draw a constraint line across the flower and the pot. You can see it. after that you go to arrange menu. This is the arrange menu and you click on ungroup all. This is the ungroup all. You click. After that you click outside. You click on the pot itself, you apply color red. This is the color red we are about to apply. What happens? As soon as you apply color red, the pot will change. Let's click on the other second circle, apply color, word, color, any color of our choice. You see? The second color I apply is that you see the way it looks like. After that, for us to move the leaf, flower leaf, and the pot together, we are going to draw another constraint line across the flower leaf and the pot together. I'll go to arrange menu and you say group so that you'll be able to move the, the leaves and the pot together. You can see what I'm doing. You'll be able to move it together. So this is how to do what? To draw your flower leaves and your pot on grasses or your corridor. Can you see? I see. After that, you adjust it very well. You adjust it. You see how beautiful it is. After that, now we are going to click on the test to type flower leaf on it. We are going to type your keyboard. On your keyboard, you are going to type the flower. Flower pot. Flower pot. Can you see what you have typed? Then you hold this place, you are going to drag it out. After you drag it out, if you like to change the pot, you are light it. After you are light it, you go towards you go to area to change the front. You choose on graphics or area black. And after that, you are going to apply color on the chest. Color of your choice. You can apply green color. You see how it looks like. You click on your picture. You can blow it out very well so that you can see it very well. You can be seen very well. Can you see? Flower pot. Flower pot. Can you see? Very, very beautiful. Okay. You adjust it to make necessary adjust for all the adjustment that you need to do. This is how you do it. Yes, this is how to draw your flower pot on your correct draw. It's very, very easy by using circle to form everything that you are doing and to beautify your work very well. Thank you.